Hi children, welcome back once again. A very good morning to you all. I am sure you have completed your assignment yesterday and you also have cross-checked the answers. Um, today we will be doing the last two subtopics in pronouns. Before we start with today's topic, shall we have a quick recap of the topics that we have covered in pronoun? I am just going to ask you to pause this video for a second and recollect it. And then I am going to give you the topics which we have covered till yesterday. Did you recollect it children? Yes, they are personal pronouns, demonstrative pronouns, interrogative pronouns and the last two we have done yesterday are reflexive and emphatic pronouns. Today we are going to start with a subtopic in pronoun which is possessive pronoun and then we will carry on with indefinite pronouns. Let's see what are possessive pronouns. Before you start learning possessive pronouns, I wish to ask you something. Have you heard someone saying that she is very possessive about her things or he is too possessive about his family members? Possessive means what? Having ownership of something or uh, keeping the belonging of it to themselves. So, possessive pronouns are to show possession or ownership of something by someone. Possessive pronoun talks about the belonging of something um, like when you have a toy of your own, what do you say? This is my toy. One second. Yeah, you can see the slide clearly now. When you say that, uh, when you have a toy of your own, what do you say? This is my toy. But uh, the word my, it is not a possessive pronoun. It is a possessive adjective because it shows that the toy is yours. But the word which actually talks about possessive pronoun is mine. This toy is mine. So here I have given a small table where I have given the subjective pronoun and the possessive pronoun for the subject. Suppose the toy I have is my own toy. So how will I say? I have a toy. It is mine. So I have made it very clear that the ownership of this toy is mine we live in this house this house is ours so you the for the subject pronoun you the possessive pronouns pronoun will be yours he it is his she is hers it its they theirs do you see children here in this possessive pronouns excepting the subjective pronoun i which becomes mine all other possessive pronouns for we you he she it and they we add s at the end of the possessive pronoun. So all the other pronouns are ours, yours, his, hers, its and theirs. But remember one thing, mine is the possessive pronoun for first person singular pronoun. So it is never mine's, it is always mine. Suppose somebody asks in your classroom that a pencil is found or a sharpener is found or a notebook is found without the name. They will always ask whose book is this? Whose pencil is this? Whose eraser is this? What would you answer immediately? The person to whom it belongs will stand up and say, This pencil is mine. The eraser is mine. So remember never to use the word mines. Okay. So generally these pronouns are always at the last in a sentence. I am going to show you some examples now. Like I told you, when somebody asks you, Whose is it? So you always say the pencil box is mine, the car is ours, the bike is his. Is this house yours? These books are theirs. See here I have written these books are theirs. So we know that these means we are talking about plural. The things which are more than one in number. So these books are theirs. Okay. The beautiful coat is hers. The plate is its. Probably in the seventh sentence, we are talking about a plate which belongs to a pet in the house. So, usually you have seen, no children, pets will be, uh, we will keep a separate plate or a bowl for the pet cat or dog that we have. So, we can say the plate is its. Okay. If you look at the sentence number 3, 4 and 6, you will see that I have made some marks at the end of them. One star, one box and one hashtag. So why have I done this? Just to show you the difference between the underlined words which are possessive pronoun and 
in the sentences which I have written below on this page and underlined the words to show that these are possessive adjectives. This is his bicycle. Instead of this is, uh, sorry, this bicycle is a his. Here I have written this is his bicycle. This is her beautiful coat. Earlier we had written this beautiful coat is hers. So hers is the possessive pronoun whereas her is the possessive adjective for the beautiful coat. Okay. Is this your house? When we are showing a house and asking to the person we are talking to, we will ask is it your house or alternatively how can we ask? We can ask is this house yours? So here yours becomes the possessive pronoun. Okay. Uh, children, since I sent the links of these videos from YouTube, what can you do with this YouTube link? Because you all are using these videos for understanding this topic. I have always told you whenever you have a doubt, you can send the message to my WhatsApp number. Alternatively, what else can you do? You can type in the chat box or the comment box which is provided below this video. I will be looking at that place also if you have posted any queries or whatever you wish to exchange as a message, I will see that and respond to you either in YouTube or in WhatsApp. Okay, shall we look at what are indefinite pronouns, understand it and then we will look at some of its example. So indefinite pronouns when we say means it is indefinite, correct. Indefinite means which is not definite, which is not known. So randomly we will say about something, someone, anything, anyone or we can also talk about everything and anything, isn't it? Isn't it interesting actually? Let us look at some examples for it okay uh, like i told you these just refer to the words which do not specify any noun or it indicates a noun in a general sense so like i mentioned indefinite is the opposite of definite okay so uh, indefinite pronouns are used when nothing is specified for example a place is not specified a person is not specified Numbers are not specified, objects are not specified. So all these words that we have to use to represent something are called indefinite pronouns. Like we have, I have mentioned three parts of indefinite pronouns which are affirmative, negative and interrogative. Like we will ask in the house now, uh, my mobile is missing. Has anyone seen it? Suppose you are four or five people in your house. All are sitting in the hall. And suddenly you come and see that your phone is not to be seen. Will you go and ask each one of the people present there or you will just randomly ask, has anyone seen my mobile? Okay. In case of uh, affirmative sentence, how do we use someone or somebody? Suppose there is a knock sound at your door. What will you say? Amma, someone is knocking the door or someone is ringing the bell. Because you know someone is standing outside but you don't know who it is particularly until you see that. Okay. And how do we use negative uh, form of indefinite pronouns? Yes. Negative means no one, nobody, none. Okay. Does anyone know the answer? No ma'am. No one knows the answer. The answer is known by none. Nobody knows the answer. D don't we do these kind of talking children? Okay. Let us look at some examples like what I told you everything anywhere anyone nobody someone somewhere these are all some of the indefinite pronouns just take a second and think don't we use all these kind of words not just in English children you think about these kind of words in any language that you know be it Kannada be it Hindi and of course English not just these words you can think of more words okay so here some words are listed in a tabular form so, like I told you, people, things and places. How these words are used under these categories. Okay. So, just go through this and then pause your video for a minute. Go through these words and then proceed with the sentence examples that we have. One must be always careful while crossing the road. Who is this one? If I am crossing the road, this message is for me. If you are crossing the road, this message is for you. Isn't it? So when you are talking in general to all the people present, we mean that everyone who is crossing the road should be careful. Okay. None of my writings or poems were published. That means I wrote many poems. I wrote many stories. 
but nothing was published all of us are good students i am sure you all will agree to this isn't it all of us are good students yes that includes me too i learn a lot i keep on learning something so i am a student so this sentence holds good for each one of us all of us are good students next one someone has stolen my calculator we know that the calculator is stolen and someone has taken who is that someone we don't know okay nobody can give such a brilliant performance means here there is a comparison you have seen some performance maybe drama dance music instrumental or an artist performing in front of you so you wish to tell them that like what you have done no one else can do in the world so you will say that nobody can give such a brilliant performance don't do any harm to others okay this is a general instruction for all human beings we should never harm others who are the others it can be anyone and everyone people known to us people unknown to us we should never do any harm to others they say that life is a drama now they who are they these uh, are the people who have been ancestors and philosophers and experts in various fields who have lived the life to their uh, old age and they have experienced and then they have said that life is a drama so they means those particular people all those people who have spoken about life anybody can nominate for elections suppose new elections are going to come anybody has the eligibility it can be you me him or her or the other person sitting in another place all of us have the rights to nominate ourselves for election that is the reason it is said anybody can nominate for elections somebody may refuse to vote but nobody knows whether he or she would win correct some people will say i don't want to cast my vote we cannot force them but nobody can say no one will know who is going to be the winner correct okay many patients are waiting outside the clinic when there is a doctor in his clinic and there will be a helper who is standing outside and checking in the patients so what will happen when the people waiting outside the number keeps on increasing the helper will only look that many are waiting they will not take a exact count they will not take an exact count of the number of people so generally it is told that many patients are waiting outside the clinic another sentence here there are several hospitals in the city several and many are those uh, indefinite pronouns which are used for unknown numbers okay so uh, here also we are talking about number of hospital that means many number of hospitals instead of that we can use the word several okay children go through all these slides understand the video and like i always tell you whatever doubts you have don't hesitate to ask me put it in the comment section below or you can send a text to me in the whatsapp wherever you approach me i can assure you that i am going to clarify whatever doubts you have okay children thank you so much after this video i am going to post a uh, post an assignment which will be of two parts as usual try to solve them as soon as you listen to this audio and watch this video okay children have a wonderful day thank you so much